things that like no yeah. it's like that. You guys hold on my mouth. Are we rolling already? Right. Yeah. Yeah, we're so rolling. We're gonna add Let's gotta make sure I'm in frame. We're gonna do this. Okay. Here we go. Oh, don't give the mic general. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Get your hands off him. <laughs> Romo. Yeah. Do you right. know what Romo means? You're not in the know at all, are you? Uh, he doesn't know I, shit. I don't know. I don't know Romo. No. Romo? Yeah, you know, like the Gracie family? Royce, <laughs> Royce Gracie, <laughs> Romosexual. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I ahead. thought you were talking about Tony Romo. Yeah. No. The place for ribs. Right. Okay. All right. It's because it's it's called intimate it's interviews. Security guard. Yeah. Okay. Really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> intimate interviews. Got the gun. <laughs> Don't take a picture of that. All right. All so right. we're at the MMA Expo, and we've got Jeff, Jeff Jocelyn here, who uh, happens to be uh, really, really close to me right yeah. now. Why are you sitting so close to me, Jeff? I don't know, but uh, it feels like I want to fight or something. Yeah. I don't know, eh? <laughs> um, with Jeff and I, we're just talking, and and um, our lovely uh, Johanna here. Hey, pop in here. See, uh, look what we bring with us to the yep. expo. That's there you that's go. this is some good stuff right here. That's right. Um, uh, sh she was asking if he wanted to make up or get his hair fixed, and you said what? We get uglier. Every fight, that's you know, you know, all you guys that want to get into the fight game and uh, you know, just be ready to get uglier every single fight, and there's something that makeup really can't help, you know. And so that's you know, what and I that's said, and that's cool because Robin was really ugly before he started fighting. Yeah, and now so I'm now you're just it's just so yeah. it's just leveling it's out. It's reverse. Right? It's reverse. Yeah, actually, absolutely. get better looking with each fight. Every time I get punched in the face, I get a little better looking. Yeah, things <laughs> get knocked back into place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what happens when you get hit with the ugly stick about seven <laughs> times before you start fighting. It's true. Uh, hey, uh, how many Zions have you drank so far today? Zero. I don't drink it. What? That, like if they sponsor me, I'll drink it. But otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to be playing off. Here, ha hand that Zions over uh, here. Our, our, sponsor no. yeah. our sponsorship is basically people show up to the booth and give right, us some right, free right. stuff. See, Zions. There yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now, they haven't sponsored us yet, but if we, here, take this back. Oh, you're doing the reverse. Yeah. Okay? That's okay. right. It's, it's the we, takeaway. Yeah. We basically give things out for free and then say, please give us money, and they say no. Right. So who is sponsoring you now? Let's, uh, let's actually do something here. Right. Oh, right now I got um, Budo World, martial arts uh, company. has been a very helpful uh, bar in uh, Hamilton called The End Zone. Do you drink there? I do occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> this is just an interview for Spike TV uh, uh, Tough Show. Yeah, pretty do much. Do you drink? <laughs> yeah. I remember that question. A oh lot. Yeah, uh, did you audition for that? I, I heard twice, you man. Yeah. yeah, it took me a long. My road to UFC was a uh, was a long road. You know, I, I went to the tryouts, got final ten out of three hundred in uh, Boston, right. and I uh, got to the interview stage, and I just wasn't. Uh, they said it was too quiet for the show. You weren't drunk enough. Yeah, I just. You didn't was pull missing. a Junie during yeah. the interview or something, where you start smashing <laughs> people and puke on someone. Well, we were yeah, about the Romo thing. They they, they <laughs> asked me uh, questions involving my sexual orientation it just I Shut just up, didn't fit the not. bill. <laughs> Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I'm not going <laughs> to say, but, you know. And you weren't willing to jizz on anybody's sushi or nothing? Uh, you know, well, that would have happened when I got on the show, but I guess they didn't really believe me. But uh, So then you end up fighting, uh, uh, anyways, you fought Josh Koscheck. How, uh, how did that come about from, I guess they got to know you from the trials. Uh, yeah, just, you know, being out there, I had a really good f uh, fight with John Fitch. Uh, came off a win with Nuri Shakir for a belt in, uh, in Quebec. He'd, he had fought uh, Diego Alves and Marcus Davis. And, and uh, you know, I just got the call one day. The guy, uh, Joe Silva, called me at my house. And I honestly thought it was my buddies joking around. <laughs> because it was like, I've been waiting so long to get here. So many close calls. And he's like, yeah, it's Joe Silva from the UFC. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, whatever, buddy. You're like, fuck off. Yeah, we and then you hang out. up. <laughs> and then the guy comes back. He's like, it's fucking Joe yeah. Silva from that, the UFC. That actually probably happens to him a fair bit. Yeah, yeah I would think imagine, so. You know? yeah. So I got him to call my manager, and he called my manager. Then I called my manager, and then it, it was a real deal. And then uh, from then it was heavy, heavy training, brother. Yeah, and then uh, so at that time, Koscheck is uh, a badass. He's beating everybody. Right. Uh, and w as soon as they say him, what's, what, what do you think right there? Sign the line. I won't give you the line, man. <laughs> so actually, I, I thought I was. I had heard rumors that I was going to fight him actually six months before that, but it didn't uh, pan out. Um, so you know, I was ready to fight anybody. It didn't really matter. And how did you feel about that fight? I mean, that went to decision, and uh, and he was like crushing people and knocking people yeah. out, and th and nothing was going to decision. What what happened that? I felt good about that fight. You know, I look at a fight uh, in terms of three elements. You know, uh, striking wise, wrestling wise, and jujitsu. And I felt I had the advantage in jujitsu and in striking. So I thought that was a good fight to have two out of three advantage. And uh, he played his cards right, and with his takedowns, he had he won it with the wrestling advantage. Got some takedowns, and you know, I thought it was a good fight. Um, and uh, at that time, no, it, it, when I watched it, at the time, I, I knew you a little bit, so I was cheering for you. But, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> and, and I wanted to see get uglier at the same time, too. But, <laughs> but uh, you were working sort of a butterfly guard, open yeah. guard game that nobody was really working, and it was working for you. Like, was that part of the game plan at that time? Well, I feel very confident in my boxing skills. Uh, I box with some of the best guys in the country all the time. So when I fight uh, in mixed martial arts, a lot of the guys seem slower in, in terms of hands. They're wide open for many things. So my goal is to really get to my feet and use my advantage uh, in terms of striking. 
Uh, so I've developed almost a system of how to get up mixing my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, coming from my experience as a black belt, with um, different techniques on how to get me back to my feet. So a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys, are, they want to stay on their, on their back, which really I want to get on top or I want to be striking the guys. So I've kind of developed some things that work really well for me. And then, uh, so after that, uh, people who, who know you know that you uh, went through a couple injuries. Uh, t tell us a little bit about that. Nightmare, brother. Wow. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I got to where I wanted to be. Spent my whole life training martial arts, get to UFC, signed a three-fight deal. Had a great fight with Koshek. And then I was training for Chris Lytle, and I sustained a, a concussion. And, uh, you know, on my first concussion, I've had just probably training? training? Yeah. I got what, punched what, in the what daytime. What degree? Is that like to well, stage two? or? I don't know. You know, there's every doctor. I've seen some of the, I've seen the, seen the top three doctors in the world for this. And, um, you know, everybody has a different grading systems right. and stuff. It's just I think it's because I've had, you know, six, seven in my yeah. career over and the years. And some you don't know about. Right. Well, that's, yeah, and that's I've got the some thing, hockey, right? too. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, especially yeah. if you played hockey. Yeah, you had absolutely. concussions all your life. <laughs> the coach so you throws think it back then, out. then you get a concussion. Then you're, they're like, how many have you had? And you're like, this is my first one. Yeah. And they're like, there's no fucking yeah, way that exactly. was your first concussion. And that was, that was a tough road. For uh, yeah, it lingered. You know, imagine, you know, I'm sure some of you have been hung over before. Yeah. Imagine uh, your worst hango, you, hangover you've ever had. You woke, wake up in the morning, you don't want to really talk to people. You don't want to look at the, you know, the bright lights. You don't want to really want to yeah. do much. I had that every day for a year. And if I trained, my hangover would get worse. Wow. So, you know, now, back now, now I'm back to normal, feeling great, better than ever on the mats and stuff. So it's just day by day, yeah. testing it cool. out. And are you, uh, are you training uh, like a full time or are you teaching or what are you doing I right I now? I teach, but uh, I don't teach. Uh, like I can train full time and still teach. Yeah. My hours are not that uh, crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm unfortunate never have, have to have another job yeah. in my whole life except for teaching. So, <laughs> so and what's the next fight that's coming up for you? Uh, nothing booked yet. Like I said, I'm going to take train this hard this summer, day by day, see how uh, the head feels, and uh, you know, hopefully, be back in there doing uh, my thing. And have you? Has there been over the last year and a half? Has there been conversation with, with the UFC that when you get healthy, p you know, give us another shot? Like, has there, has that been happening with with your management? And the UFC was really cool to me. You know, they, uh, you know, as you can see, guys are. Um, getting dropped here and there, which is a business thing, yeah. but they gave me a long, long time to uh, see if I could shake my injuries. Had, no, excuse me. Um, it, my contract did expire, which is so now it would be, I guess, renegotiated yeah. or something. Oh, you like you that, go you and know. you, you yeah. beat the fuck out of somebody exactly. and then you go back. Right, you know, for if sure. you do it in one, you know, I, I'm confident we can do it in impressive style and, yeah. you know, get and all get that hype up. back up, yeah. And for you're sure. still under 30, are you not? No, like I'm uh, 30, just turned 34, brother. Ah, shit, you got yeah. lots of time. Yeah. He's See, super mixed old. martial arts keeps you young, bro. Yeah, 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 you know? No, that means you're in your prime, though, now, right? Yeah, I feel my body feels better than ever, you know? Cool. You just got to keep the brain with the body, right? Uh, <laughs> so after you, you have a UFC fight, you've been waiting your whole life, you put on amazing performance against a tough guy, what do you do? You go and get annihilated, you go, uh, ha you know, have sex with five girls? Like, what do you do? Well, my he wife smiled on the second <laughs> one. <laughs> and his wife my is, is going to be watching this later now. No, I just, uh, yeah, I actually went to a local bar in Hamilton, uh, uh, in Hess Village. I went to Koi and Sizzle, my friends down there. Nice. And uh, they hooked me up with a, a full bottle of um, vodka. What is the type of vodka? I don't know what the type it was. Grey Goose. Grey Goose, right. It's by sure. myself. So it was me and my buddy, actually. And um, so I hadn't drank for like five months. Yeah. And I... I almost died that yeah. night, so yeah. dude, where's my, dude, where's my car? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Did you wake up with the sweet or the dude on your back? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Take a look, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Still looking for the other uh, half of the tattoo. That's right. Yeah. That's when you got that concussion sometime that night. <laughs> that's right. Uh, you know what, Jeff? We're going to pull you back in here later when uh, we're, we'll get uh, Dennis Kang drunk and okay. get you guys fighting right, or something. Right. But thanks right. for coming yeah, on the yeah, show, no my problem. brother. It's great. Great to be on the show. Thanks, Jeff. Good seeing you. Appreciate guys. it. Cheers, man.